Way of Fire YouTube video. Today we're going to do something different again. Um, we'd like to bring you something different. So Ian Ross and Mike Roberts are going to be playing some Eden. I don't know anything about Eden. So Ian, do you want to let us know roughly what that is? Yeah, it's uh, the best game you've ever played. It's a French game. Uh, it's small scale skirmish post-apocalyptic. Um, played on a 2x2 two -two board. Every model is unique and has unique abilities and there are a few other really cool mechanics. Um, played over five rounds, pretty pretty simple to play but complex to master. And some pretty smart looking models mm. as well, those are really yes. nice ones. So what factions are you bringing? I'm bringing the ISC, which is the International Scientific Council, which is essentially um, a group of scientists that came together to protect humanity from the apocalypse. And did it go well for them? Not very well. <laughs> scientists, oh. remember what you learn! <laughs> Damn you science! <laughs> The AI yeah. knower that they're left in control of their various underground arcs went a bit mental, really. And, uh, Skynet, basically. Yeah, but worse. <laughs> Much worse than Skynet. They started, uh, Noah started experimenting on, on his protégés in the, in the vaults and sort of turning them into horrible, nasty cyborg types. Yes. So that's who I'm playing. So that's who you are. Excellent. Yeah. And, and it only gets better from there. So Mike, yeah. who are you? So playing? I brought the Horde, yeah. which is basically, it is mutants, cannibalistic, evil doers. So and like humans that have gone beyond being human. So if you imagine Hills of Eyes, Leatherface, and then put some sci-fi in the middle of it. And it's, that's where Lovely. It's so it's, it's, a, it's going to be a nice, fun... Healthy. Uh, yeah, yeah. In, uh, it's all very jolly. science lab, isn't it? It's yeah. worth saying as well that the ISC AI was built by a Japanese chap, so everything the ISC builds is also Japanese-themed. OK, right, cool. So, robot samurai. So, Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, big Pokemon sort of, <laughs> big nasty Pokemon. Yeah. But you've got you've got a theme to tonight's game, haven't you? You've got a we have backstory. Um, you'll see the table when the camera pans seamlessly to it. Um, it won't pan. It won't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cuts. Uh, it's um, we we've got an Eden tournament, which we think might be the first ever in the UK coming up. So we've built a table which we're giving away as one of the prize at the tournament, and the table is supposed to represent an ISC lab underground and the narrative behind this particular story is that um, the walls to the lab have cracked allowing access to some degenerate humans yeah. of the horde. <laughs> yeah, just point yeah, just like, pointing yeah. yeah. humans. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> like, 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 uh, who've oh. broken into the lab um, because there's lots of flesh lying around for them to, to, eat. to eat. Yes, that's what they want to do. Um, and the robot samurai mad cyborg dudes are going to try and defend their lab from the invading Hopefully. cannibals. Hopefully. They're going to try. And, and the table we were playing on is giving away as a prize, isn't it? Amongst we are. A whole bunch of other prizes at your event. On Indeed. The 29th, 29th of June, June yep. this year. And you can find that on the Weight of Fire Facebook page, actually. You can. You still want to sign up? Indeed. Okay, so without further ado, shall we look at the factions and we'll look at the table? Yeah. So the first one we've got here is the Dismemberer. Um, very easy to see why it's got a Dismemberer. Two large machetes, which hopefully he's going to chop up some uh, some samurai with. Um, it's an odd sporran he's got, isn't it? It is an odd sporran. <laughs> <laughs> got it from his dad. It's probably is his dad actually. Probably yes, his dad. Um, and uh, he's like the main kind of like hero, ma major um, mutant of the, of the team there. Um, and um, he's quite he's quite tough, reasonably fast, um, and he can take uh, quite a lot of hits. So the next one we've got there is the Broodmaster. So he's like the main um, uh, commanding model. Um, as you can see there, he's got some kind of weird um, little girl next to him. And he's holding some dismembered uh, body, which probably was the dismembered dad, actually. Um, <laughs> hmm. in body. Um, so he's commanded, and he basically buffs the next three characters, which you're going to see. So the next three are, there's a bloody degenerate, which is, uh, he's quite the, the, the tougher of the mutants. Um, he's a bit more chaotic, he looks a bit like Leatherface. Um, and he's to play the toughest uh, people. Okay, so these are the ISC models I'm playing. I've got fewer models than Mike, but they are a bit tougher. Um, the first one on the left is the Blue Henro. He's um, my leader. He is um, got some really cool buffs and defences that he can apply to other models, which um, 
it protects them but also makes them better sometimes too. Uh, but he's quite tough himself, he's, he's got decent armour. Uh, the next one along is the Carmine Samurai and he is my main combat piece. He's pretty hard in combat, he's got really good armour, he's quite difficult to get rid of and um, in a pinch he can commit seppuku which uh, allows him to explode doing lots of damage to anybody in contact with him. So he's, he's pretty cool. The next one along is the evil psychic cyborg witch, the Black Ubume and she can do some really nasty things um, swapping other opponent's stats round so when she attacks she can attack against your mind instead of attacking your body which against some of the more stupid horde is really useful because they become a lot easier to wound with her that's everybody yeah <laughs> um, and the last one is the yellow gaki look how happy he is he's a very happy little beepy robot He's really cheap, he can't do anybody any damage, but Aww. he's probably the single most irritating model in the game because his abilities interfere with your opponent's abilities to activate models, to um, do more than one thing a turn, and he can also do a brain drain ability which drops their psi right down, and that um, goes really well with the Abume's ability of attacking you in your mind because he can scramble your brains first and then she comes in and just murders you. So they're an interesting bunch. What points level is this that you're... All Eden games are always a hundred points. Ah, okay. So um, it's just perfectly designed and balanced that way and um, most of the ISC models are more expensive than models of other factions so you usually have fewer activations. So this is the table that we're going to be playing on uh, and Ian do you want to explain normally you would deploy terrain after bidding to see who goes first wouldn't you but we're going to do it slightly differently today by setting the terrain up already um, but you are still in a bid which is a quite unique mechanic to Eden I think so what happens there? Right, um, each of your models has a, a size stat I don't know if you can you focus in Let's on the Let's have a look. We can try. Well, I don't know where I'm focusing, that's the only thing. <laughs> the head one? Yeah. So yeah, you can see the size. Right. There. So three on this yellow gaki. So each of your people has a, has four different locations. Head, arms, body and legs. And they each have a stat associated with that location. And the head location is how clever each of your people is. And if you add up all the size stats of all the people on your side, sorry, then that is the number of strategy points. So let's have a look at the very so, clever ones here. So, so Barn, uh, the Abume's got five, yeah. Samurai's got six, and the Henro's got six. So that's 12, mm -hmm. 17, and three for the Gaki is 20. So I end up with 20 strategy points, which I'm using these orange dice for here. And they're used for two things. They're used to pay for abilities which are on the back of all your people's cards. Um, remember at the start I said each, each model has a different set of unique abilities. Often they need strategy points to power them. So you've got to look after your strategy points depending on what your plan is for using their unique abilities. They're also used in a hidden bidding um, thing at the start of every turn to determine the first player. Mm -hmm. And they're also used to pay for strategy cards which are a series of effects that you can use at the start of every turn that give you a buff or uh, sort of um, a, a, a negative on, on your opponent sometimes. Yes. You can, they also heal and stuff like that. So when you start the game, when you pick your force, you also pick a hand of strategy cards that you're going to use. Are they unique to faction or are they...? No, some, some are unique to faction, some are universal. And you only have a certain amount depending you, on yeah. your, 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 your faction as well. Your hand size is dependent on the size stat, again, right. of your leader. And you've got 20 of these strategy points. How many have you got? Well, as you Mike? can imagine, having a horde of mutants, hmm. I've only got 10. No, because they're all a bit dozy. Can't, um, can't be helped. Can't. And my commander, well, so, I, so I'm really limited in how many I've got, so I've been really careful yeah. how many I use. And bear in mind, once you've used them, they go away and you don't get them back. You get them back next round? or You don't get them back at all. Ah, so I only yeah. have 10 
and some of my special abilities I have cost yeah. quite, they're quite expensive. So this is the table that we're going to be playing on. Uh, and Ian, do you want to explain, normally you would deploy terrain after bidding to see who goes first, wouldn't you? But we're going to do it slightly differently today by setting the terrain up already. Um, but you are still in a bid, which is a quite unique mechanic to Eden, I think. So what happens there? Right. Um, each of your models has a, a size stat. I don't know if you can you focus in on Let's have a little look. We can try. Well, I don't know where I'm focusing. That's anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the head one. Yeah. So yeah, you can see the size. Right. There. So three on this yellow gaki. So each of your people has a, has four different locations: head, arms, body, and legs. And they each have a stat associated with that location. And the head location is how clever each of your people is. And if you add up all the size stats of all the people on your side, sorry, then that is the number of strategy points. So let's have a look at the very so, clever ones here. So, so Barn, uh, the Abume's got five, yeah. Samurai's got six, and the Henro's got six. So that's 12, yeah. 17, and three for the Gaki is 20. So I end up with 20 strategy points, which I'm using these orange dice for here. And they're used for two things. They're used to pay for abilities, which are on the back of all your people's cards. Um, remember at the start I said each, each model has a different set of unique abilities. Often they need strategy points to power them. So you've got to look after your strategy points depending on what your plan is for using their unique abilities. They're also used in a hidden bidding um, thing at the start of every turn to determine the first player. Mm -hmm. And they're also used to pay for strategy cards, which are a series of effects that you can use at the start of every turn that give you a buff or uh, sort of um, a, a, a negative on, on your opponent sometimes. Yes. You can, they also heal and stuff like that. So when you start the game, when you pick your force, you also pick a hand of strategy cards that you're going to use. Are they unique for faction or are they? No, some, some are unique to faction, some are universal. And you can only have a certain amount depending the, on yeah. your, 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 your faction as well. Your hand size is dependent on the size stat, again, right. of your leader. And you've got 20 of these strategy points. How many have you got? Well, as Mike? you can imagine, having a horde of mutants, hmm. I've only got 10. No, because no. they're all a bit dozy. Can't, um, can't be helped. Can't and my commander, well, so, I, so I'm really limited in how many I've got, so I've been really careful yeah. how many I use. And bear in mind, once you've used them, they go away and you don't get them back. You get them back next round? or You don't get them back at all. Ah, so I only yeah. have 10, and some of my special abilities I have cost yeah. quite, they're quite expensive. So uh, we're just about to start deployment before we bid, um, but there's missions to do as well, so there's quite a bit of setup to be done. So um, one of the Sorry. unique things about Eden is that you both choose your own mission for the game. Some missions are secret from your opponent and some missions are not. But the mission is really important because it determines who wins at the end of the game. You don't automatically win by murdering everybody. You have to fulfill... It'd be great yeah, yeah, it'd be easier mm -hmm. for you. Um, <laughs> so we've both chosen a mission. I've chosen a secret one and Mike's chosen a revealed so, one. So you'll only reveal that at the end at of the, the game? End of the game. Yes. Right. So I'm going, to I'm going to play mine now, and tell you where everyone is. So my revealed mission is um, um, called Land Protection. Dead easy. Uh, at the end of the intensity phase of each round, um, you count up your victory points. Um, so either it is you have to have um, figures or models uh, within 15 centimeters of the table center, um, and you get um, and they add up each round, and it depends on um, who's there. So um, the higher than the sum of your opponent's fighters value located within 15 centimetres of the table scores 25. So you just points. want to swarm the centre. So I need to get in the middle and of course and hold it. And hold it and Ian needs to possibly do that as well to score the points, but his mission will be completely different yep. to mine. And I'm gonna go out the room now so he can tell you what it is. Right, cool. Okay, I'm playing a mission called the ambush, because it fits our storyline for this game. In this mission, I get a different setup than Mike. I can deploy anywhere that's outside 20 centimetres of the centre of the table. So I get a different sort of deployment. And my victory points are all about killing my opponent. So I yeah. do get victory points that for killing suit. him. Yeah. But I also get victory points up to what? Uh, up to half the model's points cost for wounding them. So even if I don't kill any of them, if I've wounded them all, I'm going to get 
So that actually play points. quite nicely against Mike's one so, now because you want to charge into the middle and he absolutely. wants to be he in the middle. He wants to get in the middle and I want to merge as many as I can. Yeah. And it fits with our I'm defending my base yeah. from the, the horde science attack. lab from the flesh eaters. Great. Cool. Put down all your play, what are they called? Horde. Horde, sorry. Down here. And Ian has got his ISC in ambush so they're allowed to deploy anywhere outside of 20 from the centre. So he's sort of come up part way up the map um, and I know what all the missions are but Mike doesn't I, I don't know Mike doesn't. <laughs> no. we'll soon so, find out it's now time to bid right yep uh, so we bid for first player in this first turn by taking a number of strategy points and you must do a minimum of one no, is it you don't have to. oh you can put a zero if you, if you uh, bid the same it's a roll off right okay ready okay. yep I see what there is. Zero oh, and zero. Nothing to be had. No yeah, one wants to play this game. So okay, we roll off. A one for me. Right, right. looks like it's Mike's. Mike's on the black first guys. Um, this guy, the blue Henro, who I said yeah. was one of the defensive ones, he gets at the start of every turn to roll three dice. It's an ability called Numeric Prayer, and um, he rolls three dice and he keeps those dice on his card that you can use to substitute in for any other dice. Okay, so you're doing this before Mike's first activation. Yeah. So I've got two ones and a five. That might not look great, except I can substitute these ones in for a location roll, which is always hitting them in the head, which will become apparent uh, later. Quite good when you yeah. zap especially brainless for, yeah, things. Yeah, especially for hordes stuff, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so you can store those dice and use them whenever you wish. This turn, I can use them. Okay, so now it flips back to Mike, yes. who's about to activate his Broodmaster. Yes, so my Broodmaster. The leader of his so group. The, yeah, so it's the start of um, each turn, he gets two rage tokens, which he He's gets, not happy. No, he's not happy. There we go, there's um, the rage there tokens. Yeah. And he, so they'll always come up every turn, and he uses them to buff the other mutants. Um, because what happens is at the start of my go, my two weakest mutants, these two here, the Degenerate and the Standard, they lose an action point each. Oh, which doesn't is, sound good. Yes, it doesn't go because they're quite mindless mutants. So they automatically go down to two, which limits them, so I have to buff them up. So what I'll do is I will activate my Broodmaster first. So I'll give one to him. So that counts as an extra point now for him. Yeah, so what happens is, if I, if I flip the card over, it's easier to explain. So on the back of here, um, I can use those um, rage tokens to um, give the, give them one. If I use one for him, I can get an action point back. So basically, right. I get okay. my dice back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and the same for the normal degenerate. Um, for yes, for the other guy as well. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly so the they count as that they extra. Are, just action yeah, point. yeah. I don't have to use them for that. So I can use them to give them an extra combat or an extra yeah. um, speed. But for this starting starting turn, because I'm miles away from anything, I might as well use them to give them back. Great. So we'll do that in a minute. Um, so I will activate my Broodmaster. Um, and, and everyone moves 10, don't they? When they per action point. Per action point, action yeah. points. So actually, I'm going to send in there. Not like I have to do one. Mike doesn't want me to kill that one because... Which is the only one who's any good. If I kill him, <laughs> yeah. it, makes, it makes all the others worse. Weaker. So actually, I'm then going to move him to there. So he's sticking away from all yep. of your guys and there. Yep, and he'll stay there, and I'm going to leave him on um, two action points because I don't actually want to do anything else. So you him. could have done multiple ones on the same model, or you can come back to him later, is that...? You can't reactivate yeah. him unless you've got special abilities ah, to do. right. But um, if he's attacked, he might need action points to respond yep. to that attack. Okay, right, so now go so to you. So to me, yes. I've got one fewer model than Mike, and I'm going to pass my activation. Now, if Mike also decides to pass, that becomes the end of the turn. But I don't think he will. No, because I need because of course for my mission I need to get in the middle to that. So you're gonna you're gonna miss that. So what I'll do is I'm going to activate um, my my starving degenerate, and as I, as I said before, I had a rage token, so it gets his dice back. And I'm gonna move him because I need to get him in the middle. There, and then which cost me an action point, and then I'm going to do it again. And then I'll stick him there. 
And so he's leave, moving up, but yeah, in cover but, still. Yeah, and I'll leave him on one action point. So he can react to stuff if he wants. Yes. Okay, I'm going to activate the Gaki. Beep, 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 Interesting to note that if you kill the Gaki, it explodes as well. Cause he's, and everyone cries. He's got an unstable plasma generator, bless him. Oh, bless him. So, I'm going to move him here for one. Me, me, me. And there. Me, me, me. For two. Beep, beep, beep. And I'm going to leave him there with one action point remaining. Beep, 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 beep. And he'll sit there for the rest of the game and... Uh, He'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> and be annoying. And be annoying, yes. So I'm going to be He looks like he should have drinks on his head. He looks like he's a, uh, should, a service he, droid. He does. Yeah. I think you bring in canapes yeah. and... Uh, I think you should buy a model and put it on. I think that would be very... <laughs> <laughs> Sort a little... Uh, yeah. I've actually got a spare one of him. So maybe, I might maybe. do that. Put some glasses Look on. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's so yeah. cute. He's not cute when he blows up. Well, no. It's yeah. a mess. Yeah. Um, Someone's got to clean that up. I know. So, next one, I'm going to do... Um, use my... Take my rage taken off him. My degenerate. And he gets his... Action point back. Get your chaff into the mix. Yeah. Excuse me, you want to get your chaff into the mix? I'll move him up to there. And. Oh! Right. So I'm just going to move him up to there, which costs one action point, and he'll sit on two. So you're going. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna activate the samurai. Dun dun dun! Here comes the big fella. So this is your main combat beast, isn't it? To the middle. And leave himself an action point. So he's just sitting there holding the centre because you know Mike wants to get to the centre. I do know Mike wants to. Get yeah. To the so then you'll yeah. be able to either go and charge him down, or just if he comes to you, then you'll still be able to fight him. Just hack him to pieces. Yeah. So me. So in this game you can um, you can pre-measure, can't you? Oh yes. Which is quite good. So I can actually get there, I think, with him. Oh he has yes. space as well. So let's make sure I can do that. Yeah, so he gets twenty so This is your bloody degenerate. This is my bloody degenerate. Enough. Bloody degenerates! So Come around here. Yeah, stealing our labs. Um, so how many action points have you used to get in there? Two. Uh, two. He's got one left. Fine. So I'm going to charge um, your samurai, I think. So you're going to move one. Yes. Which costs one action point. And then a charge move costs two action points, but it's a move and an attack combined. So he's coming in to take a swipe at my oh, yeah. samurai. Dun, dun, dun. There they are, fighting over the right. glow desk. So... When I get attacked, I then have to declare a reaction. Using one of your action points? Using an action point, otherwise my reaction is only passive. So I'm He looks more of a passive aggressive man than just passive, I think. He, yeah, he, yeah, he's not just yeah. going to sit there and take it. So I'm going to spend his last action point uh, to attack you back. Okay. So now we have a face off. Not in the uh, Nicolas Cage. Not in the Cage. Although not. in this lab, who knows? Yeah. So yeah. Um, <laughs> we roll to see who attacks first because that does matter. Okay. Because so Mike is on black with his degenerate, bloody degenerate, and I'm on white. Ian is on the white. purity of ISC. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh get in. samurai's got well, it. Just in there. the slowest samurai in town. We add <laughs> just we about add our combat it. value to that. Yes. So I've got combat six, so I actually rolled eight. What's your combat My combat value is five, so, so you six. got six. So you still win. So I so. still win. So now I'm going to attack him. Now on a card, you will see, as we said before, there are four stats. There's the psi, which is in the head, and then the combat value is... Uh, is it the bicep? It's the arms. Yeah. You'll also note that there are wound pips associated with each location. If any of those go to zero, your model's dead. So if this guy has three for the head, four for the arms, Absolutely. two for the legs, and four for and the And if I just show you one of Mike's horde cards, yeah. some races that aren't robots get worse the more they're hit. So that's the red ones, I presume. So if you get down to the red, you have to use the red value ah, for each of yeah, your stats. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, some fighters but degrade. That particular model does have quite a lot of hit points. He's got a lot of pips in each yeah. place. Yeah. This has armour. 
Right, so the first two hits are always discarded against Ooh, that him. Sound good. So yeah. they're not Okay, so here they go. So I'm attacking first. Green Degenerate Meat versus Robocop. Indeed. My, I use the number of dice that are equal to my combat value, which is six. Yep. But I also roll a different coloured dice for location to see where this okay. hit goes yep. in. And I, the, the target number I need is the vigour, which is the body stat of my opponent. So which is a five. five. So I need fives to hit. Okay, so it's actually quite hard to hit you. No modifiers on any of no, these though. No. So, so luckily... So it's in the head with I've the one, I've got two it? in the head. How many pips have you got in the head? I've got three and then it goes down to... I've got five, but three again then it goes down to uh, right. two red ones. Yeah. I'm going to substitute so, one of the misses with just, one of the dice rolls on my blue hand. So rate. you can... So it goes Do to the head it. because you can see... Let me just lift this up. Yeah. Top. You can see locations. here that there's a, a one next to the head, a two and a three for the arms. A four and a five for the body and a six for the legs. And is that the same for every no, model? No, the Gaki has no location in the arms or the body, for ah, instance. So, yeah, so, so some models will be different. Miss, yeah. So that's a head hit with two wounds, but obviously that doesn't take him into the red, so he's still going to be at full effect. However, head. if you remember the dice rolls from ah, my blue right, cheeky, right, yeah. cheeky extra dice rolls. I'm going to substitute one of the dice the rolls of the Henro yeah. that for the unsuccessful one. So I've actually got three so hits. We'll now take him into the, the red. Into the red. One. Which has taken him into the red in the head. So he goes from two to one. Red in the head. He's literally red in the head. Yeah. He really is. So he was dozy before and he's even dozier now. <laughs> okay. So you get to fight as well though, I Mike? do get to fight back though. At the original effectiveness or now at the red effectiveness? Well, the effect in the physical. Oh, because it doesn't head. matter because it's his head, so, not yes, his arms. So I'm still going to hit back. So five, five dice, dice and against my should... vigour, which is four. Oh, so it's a little easier for you to hit. Uh, oh, it's a big hit! So six. it's four hits in the uh, legs. In the six. six. Yeah. However, I've got two armour. Yeah. So that goes down to two hits in the leg. How many legs have you got? Only three. So he's down to one. He's nearly legless. He's nearly legless. Right. But of course, no red line because he's a robot. Indeed. Oh, well, that's good. That's quick. Yeah. That's easy. And if you'd had another action point, you could spend another one to do another fight. Um, Yes, yes, if Mike, with the active yeah. model, had any more APs, he could do and another one. just while we're talking about it, if you hadn't had any to react with, what would have been a difference? You'd have just taken the damage. You I would have, have just taken it. the hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other so, thing I could have done, which may have been more sensible, is try a dodge. But actually, that's who wants to do way. that? Yeah. 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 So yeah. So didn't do that. No. Do that. Right. Great. End so of the first fight. My active Blue Henro, who's going to bravely spend one, two, three action points to stand behind... So that's all his action points. So all his action brave. points. So but you've done that because you're probably far enough away to be safe, aren't you? Um, he's going to struggle to get yeah. around to charge me because you can't move through models or the base no. of scenery. Yeah. So a lot of this game is about careful positioning. He's also in place for something I want to do next turn. Sneaky. Mm. Damn that thinking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and never catch on. <laughs> so the only player my, model Mike has left is his dismembered. It is. So he's going to... It's a great is big fellow over the back there. Worrying. He's worrying. It's with the with, with the face him. pants. Okay. I shall move. One action point to there. And I'm gonna move him another ten. Just put him there. So he looks menacing. Gets him and leave him on one action point as he well. He does look quite menacing. Actually. He is a bit scary. He's a bit scary, and then that's the end of my that's the end of my my go. And he does my, appear my to have a baby's head as a cog, cod piece. Yes, yes, I, it's uh, disturbing, isn't disturbing it? Yeah, they are. The, I think the horde have got some of the most disturbing models in the game. They I are really, they they're quite sick. We love them. We love them. We do love them. Okay, I'm activating the Ubu Men. Who's going to go one, two? Here she comes. All the way over here. There. Yeah. yeah. She's there, out of charge range of him. Uh, I need to go back a bit more. Yeah, he's back. Out of charge range now. Yeah. There we go. 
positioned out of charge range there. So, end of turn one. Yes. This is what the lovely French people that wrote this game call the intendancy phase, and no one's ever been <laughs> able to work out what that means. <laughs> but basically, it's the cleanup phase where um, any effects are resolved, but I think the only effect we have to resolve at the moment are your victory points, Mike. Yes. So, so let's go back to my card again. Because is... Ian's mission won't score until the end of the game. No. Nope. But yours will score each round, so you'll score for so, models close yeah. to the centre, won't you? So any fighters within 15 centimetres of the table um, is higher than the sum of the opponent's fighters. So how many have you got? You've got... I've got... Three models. 75. You have. So you have points this is, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So that will be more because your biggest model is out the back here, isn't it? It is. So I've got... Oh, he's, he's 25. Oh, so, so I've got 75, 75 as well. Equal. So we're equal. We're equal. So that won't score you anything, then, so we No, so we both... Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yes, it's, no one scores anything, does it? What does it say on the card? Um, <laughs> the, the, if you've got more than me. Higher. Yes, it's higher. Yeah. So it is. So it is. Everyone, no one gets anything at all. Turn two. Yep. So we bid again. Now it becomes a little bit more important now for this round. Okay. Cool. Are you filming this, Andy? Yeah. Okay, so we're bidding. Okay, I got five. Oh, Mike bid five of his five ten. Five of his ten. He five really wants points. to go first. Yeah, he wants to smash some samurai up. He yes, does. he does. There is a reason for that, and I'll explain that in a minute why I want to go first. So I'm just going to roll my three blue Henro dice. Because you can. So that's a one, a three, and a six that are going to go on his card for later. Okay. So one might be useful for headshots, and obviously six for injuries as well would be. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to um, pay for a tactical card. Yep. So it'll cost me two. Yep. Which I've only got three left now. Three little. Uh, uh, and that would give me two extra rage tokens. So we'll start with two anyway. And you'll end up with four now. And this is bloodlust, is it? This is bloodlust to to. So this is a horde specific one, I guess. Yes. Yep. Yes. I'm also going to play a tactical card, so I've got to pay two of my strategy points. Luckily, I've got fifteen left. <laughs> I'm going to play makeshift repair. Go on. So I choose a free allied drone. F oh, I'm not going to play that because it's not free. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. no. You better take your strategy points back. Uh, no, because I'm going to play this one instead. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, play that any non-human fighter on my side, so everybody, uh, gains one combat dice until they're wounded this Ooh, turn. Yes, very nice. And I wonder why he's going to play that. Until they Because he knows, exactly, why, he knows exactly what's coming. No, until they take another wound. Right. Yeah. So, I'm going to start with my Brewmaster again. Yep. So I need to give out some rage tokens. What speed is he? Um, his speed is five. Okay. Is that okay? That matters because if you've got a faster fighter, you can interrupt the activation of a slower one. Um, so this time I'm going to give. Let's check my cards. I'm going to give three to the big guy who was uh, causing a bit of damage before. To your bloody degenerate. To my bloody degenerate. Uh, yeah. Free rage tokens. So they yeah. count as extra activations. They right? they will give. Yeah, he's got some extra, extra, extra abilities which you can you can use them for. Um, and then my broodmaster is going to give the other one to uh, the dismember. Who's the other big fella? Which, oh, was he going to him? Actually, no. He's going to give it to uh, the starving degenerate, which is this guy here with the little sigh, because he obviously said it before. Um, they, yeah, they, they, these two guys will lose two anyway. When they activate. When they activate, yeah. So, we'll start with the Breedmaster. Down in the corner here. Um, and he's going to do one of his special abilities. So he's got a lovely special ability on the back of here, which will cost me my last three, so I'll have none Jeez. left. Which is a really big risk, but... I have big to turn for Mike. This one. 
Um, so he's got, um, where is it? Uh, synchronization. So, so just after the Breedmaster of Activation, immediately activate in any order I choose all my allied fighters. Oh, so everybody okay. gets the to go. Entire faction. Yeah, so it becomes a bit, of a bit of a rage attack. But I have to do something with him first. So what we'll do is, um, I shall pay one action point. I shall pay two action points. I can still interrupt those activations if I'm faster. But, um, can you? yeah, unless it says you can't, can't be interrupted. You just activate them all um, in turn. Your opponent cannot interrupt the action of these fighters. Oh. Ah, Ian! <laughs> so, so, we're going to go for it. No! <laughs> no! You were like, I can manage this. Oh, no, no, no I can't. <laughs> so, he's going to move up to there anyway. Okay. Get in the, get in the, get in the mix. Actually, up there, that size. And we'll mm. see what happens. We shall see what happens. It's going to be absolute carnage. It is going to be carnage. It's going to be a lot of dice rolling, yeah. yeah. And, he will, and he will sit on one. Um, so we shall start with the... We'll start with the Bloody Degenerates, which is the big guy here. Yep. Um, he's got three action points to start with. He's going to pay three of his rage tokens. Mm -hmm. The extra gets, tokens you gave him? Yes, and on the back of here... As you can see, for three... He's going to murder eight, me. He can get an extra action point. So I'll actually give him four action points. Don't forget, he can still only do two attacks. He can only do two attacks, but I can leave them on some. Yeah, to give can. Them, so I can always hit you back afterwards. So... Um, well, you can use them to dodge. Well, could you, oh, I could use them to dodge, couldn't I? So I get him one. Um, actually, I'm going to take that back. I shall leave him on one. And take that off, and I'll give him extra combat and extra speed. Yep. Instead, do that instead. Yep. So he's hitting with six dice instead. So of you use the rage tokens yes. to boost dice to his yes. speed. Yes. I was going to give. Uh, yeah, I was going to give him the extra action points, but then because they is your right. So if you're going to do two um, things, two however, attacks, yeah, however many action points that. they've got, they and can do, do each thing twice. Yes. Which is a bit around the thing. So um, he'll hit, try and hit your samurai then. Um. Yikes. My samurai will hit you back. You do that. So, my samurai is currently seven combat. Yes. Because of my tactical card. And mine's on six. So, I've rolled. So, you attack me first. I attack you first. So, I'm rolling seven dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not that one. Seven. Mm -hmm. And the location dice. Oh, might kill me that. So that's one, two, it's in the body. three, four in the body. Yes. However, yes. I have a one from my hen row. Right. Which I will reuse to replace the location. I will hit you in the head. So guess what? I murdered him. Murder my big guy. All right. So that cost you an action point to retaliate, didn't it? Yep. So he's only got two left. Right. Mike's plan of using his big fella now. to do damage has backfired somewhat. S slightly. So when he dies, uh, which he has, uh, when he's removed from the field, I place I can place two rage tokens um, on anyone within 20 centimetres. So I shall give two to the dismember. This he's, is, he's not happy about that then. No, this is going to get horrific now, because <laughs> um, he's really horrible. <laughs> which isn't really good. Um, and then I've got a special rule for my horde. Um, uh, each time the opponent fights, oh, that's an opponent, just you. Not. Right, so he's dead, but he's um, this member is not happy that you've killed his uh, no his buddy. No. Um, so what I'm going to do next? I'm going to use my starving degenerate, which is the guy with the side here. Yep. And he's going to attack. Weirdly. The gaki. The gaki. Um, which would have cost him... Are you doing that because if he explodes, he'll damage... Well, yes, because by the guy, he's, he's, not, he's not brilliant stuff, so it might, it, it, yeah, if he does explode, then that may happen, and it may damage it people. It will damage nearby. people around him. Yes. Um, so we'll take, the, we'll take the punt for that. I'm going to dodge. Yes, what you will do. Which means I roll my speed characteristic in dice against your speed characteristic after you've attacked. Yes. To try and cancel some of those hits out. So I get four dice. 
Yep. My VIG is three, so you need threes to hit and location dice. Oh, one second. Oh, sorry. I'm in so, the wrong. <laughs> sorry, we should have been looking at the right place. So that's a good hit, isn't it? Yes, so it's um, in the six. Yeah, that's three, three. and six, which will kill him, except I said I was dodging. Yeah. So what's the speed of your guy? Um, it's four. So I roll my speed in dice, which is five, against your value, which is four, yeah. and each success I get cancels, cancels out yeah, one of those. Right. So you've got three at the moment, and I've cancelled two of them, and so I'll take one. Yeah, in the gap he survives. Only I won't because he's got armour. Right, okay. So the armour that he's got cancels, cancels the last, the last one. one. It is. So I will try hit you again. The Gaki? Yes. Uh, I'll dodge again. Let's have a look what we've got this time. Ooh. Oh, so that's still three, isn't it? Three in mm, the six. six, which is the legs again. Uh, so I need to dodge some of these. Ooh, dodge two, armour saves the other one. Right. No damage. Right. Gaki okay. survives. Gaki survives. Right, not cool. that's how that plans out. So the next thing we'll do is we will send. How many, how many um, action points do you see left on? He's on two, two. now. Two. So. So he's going to go in. The Zembra, this member, he's going to have a go. At the Samurai. At the Samurai. What do you want to do? Do you want to hit me back? How many combat dice are you on at the moment? Um, I'm on five. I'll hit you back. We will do. It's going to be a very short game. It could <laughs> be a very short game. I think this could be quite an important fight, this one. So I'm currently on combat seven, because you haven't wounded me yet. So it's a roll off to see who goes first. Ooh, are you going to go first? It's going to be me. Yeah. yeah. So, what's your vigour? Uh, my vigour for him is uh, a bit less, so it's a four. So, I'm rolling these plus the location dice. Oh, there's only three. So that's three hits in the five. Um, um, yes. Ha have you got any where there are four pips? Um, uh, doesn't really no matter. matter. Only his legs. Uh, I'm going to substitute oh, no, one of five, those misses. Five, yeah. Yeah. For that six from the blue hen row. And put so in the body. Four, so four in the body. In so the he'll body. go down from four. So he's easier to hit next time. So three. Yeah. Uh, so this member though is, is a bit is a bit of a sneaky guy. Yeah, he's gonna bang me again, isn't he? Um so each time this member suffers at least one wound from close combat attack, he inflicts the fighter the origin a wound in the in the arms um, that ignores the effects of protection. Okay, so the samurai also So your armour doesn't save you for that then? No. Because it annuls the effects of protections, mm -hmm. which is the. And now the dismemberer gets to fight himself. He does get to fight himself. I don't think he's got anything else. Um... No, that's fine. Nothing for now. Right, so I've got uh, five in the arms. Let's roll them. Against your. Four. Four. Oh, it's a good roll. So it's, it's four in the four. Yep. Two of those are discounted. Because of your armour. Because of my armour. So I've taken two in the torso. And have you got any... Oh, you fought though, didn't you? So you didn't dodge, so you have to take that. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I've yeah. got to take that. Yeah. And has he got another fight left in him in the dismemberer? Um, no, because no, he's attacked twice. Attack twice, so I can do, do that. So that's him. Did he attack twice? Did he complete? Yes. He charged, charged and attacked. Didn't he? Yes, he charged it. I charged and you hit me first and I hit you back and then I hit you passively. You hit you were passive because I hit you the second time. That's right, isn't it? No, no you've got right. oh, right. yes. yes. right. right. yes. to generate. You've got another fight, haven't you? All right, yeah. okay. What's your speed? Come on, Mike, you've only got three models left. <laughs> <laughs> What's your speed? Four. So I can roll four dice on fours, which would dodge two, which means you'd have to hit me five times to wound me, or I can attack back and possibly have kill you. Have you got dice left? I've got one. Have you? Okay. Yeah. Um, what's your bigger at the minute? 
Um, three. Yeah, I'm going to attack you back. Okay. So, I'm on, only on combat six now, though. Ooh, that's oh, that's ten. Oh, it's on. Ten. That's good. Do it again. Uh, it's more than mine. So I'm, I'm on nine. Ooh, right, so six dice. Yeah. One, two, three, He's four. He's a beast this summer, isn't he? He's yeah, a beast. He really He's is. Really well, that, that is his job. Um, <laughs> needing threes this time. Here's some threes, unfortunately. So that's one, misses, two, that's three, four in the two. Will that kill him? Um, no, it'll take Two's you down in the arm. Uh, how many have you got left in the arm? Um, two left. Two. So, how many have you got left in the chest? Two. Two. And what's the location for the chest? Um, four or five. So, I need to get this up to a four. So, I will sacrifice one to take it to a three and another one to take it to a four which no, I didn't see you can remove successful yeah, hits yes. you can remove successful hits to adjust the location roll. up or down up or down yeah so that now does two hits which will kill him which we have to kill the dismember yeah, which kills him before he kills me he thank was. god yeah. do you still yeah. take um, damage yes in your arms yes so I still take one in the arms which the samurai doesn't like. Why do you take one in your arms? Because of his ability. Ah, every time he takes damage, yeah. he gets one back. Right. Oh, it's looking pretty empty in the centre of the battlefield now, empty, Mike, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, you still got your last degenerate list, haven't you? Yes. Starving degenerate. So I shall have to use him. Oh no, you're normal degenerate. A normal degenerate guy. But he only has two, two. action points, isn't yes. he? Yes. He can charge you with that, can't he? Charge an attack. Yeah, yeah. But your Samurai hasn't got anything left now, has he? No, he's now extremely vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll do it. Because he's out of actions, I can not respond to this at all, so all the hits just go. So that's a charge and a degenerate. Yes, but it'll cost him all of his. Yeah. Thing there. So um, I've got four dice. Four dice needing fours. This could easily kill him. Maybe not, though. Ooh, oh, no, look, at oh look at that! And his armor will protect him. His armor saves him because yes. he's only got one point of injury left in his legs. Yes. So if you'd taken, if you'd done two, he would have been legs. No, because he's got two armor. You need three. Mm. Oh, two armor. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's quite hard to kill the samurai. He is hard to kill. Mm. I think the tide may have turned against you, Mike. I think you may have done curses. It saves your life coming here to eat my experiment. Well, no. <laughs> I'm just eating your gacky. <laughs> Rip his yeah. head off. That, that could go horribly wrong. It could. Right. So it's your go. Right. So Samurai is out of activations. The Henro, however, is not. Um, I'm just trying to work out what he's going to do. Not an awful lot. Okay, the Abume, mm -hmm. I'm going to activate. Are you filming this, Andy? Yep. I'm going to activate Filmate the Abume, and she it's going to float. is very special because she's got a, um, a tri. Hang on. She's got a tri phased stabilizer, which means she can phase in and out of reality and move straight through scenery. So she's. Oh, actually, she can't do it. She's not reached it. Because she can't end a move. On the scene. That's part of a piece of scenery. Could she stop before and then make it? So she could go round. She could get to there. She's still out of charge range, so she's not going to be able to charge this turn, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but what she's going to do is just set it up for next turn. So she's going to move. In fact, she she'll spend all three to move. Here. Get, in the, get in the point zone. She's in the point zone, but she can also phase through that scenery. And you know, obviously, that Mike's activated everything, so absolutely he can't charge you this round. No. Uh, what's the speed of your de degenerate here? Uh, four. Mm. 
Ian also knows that I've used all my uh, yes. five points. So he'll definitely Rich, get to go he'll first. Definitely next get round. To go first well, and he'll definitely get to go first. By only bidding one. Yes, exactly. Which is very handy. It's always handy. Um, who's that fellow in front of me there? That the samurai's taking care of. Have I wounded him yet? No. Yeah, he, yeah, he hasn't wounded anyone yet. These two. Okay. I just kill everyone else off. I know, they've done quite well, bless them. Right, I'm going to charge this guy with okay. the Henry. Okay, right. He's just going to come in. Feel here. free to. <laughs> smack him, away. smack him. You'll be pleased to know that he's normally only five dice, but because I played that tactical card, he's got an extra one because you've not wounded him. So he's rolling six I'm dice. I'm sure Mike's really. Yeah, I'm really made up with that. that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he wants nothing better than to roll more yeah. dice. Think of, his, think, of his, think of his family. <laughs> yeah, he ate them. Yeah, he did eat them. Yeah. I'm thinking of them. Right, so what's your vigour? Uh, so my vigour is four. Okay, so I need fours on all these dice. <laughs> oh great! Oh, so you're right for smashing everyone with a samurai. Two hits in the two. I oh, know. Very poor uh, roll. Okay. Two hits in the arm. So that's he's he's okay. He's not in the red zone. He's still there. He's not in the red. Uh, yes. And I've got one action point left. So I'll do it again. Yes. So you've got nothing to retaliate. Uh, nothing. No yes. Left, so. Ooh, oh, another rubbish roll. roll. Look at that. Uh, one in the body. That's one in the body. Where, where have I hit you already? Which uh, location? In the in the arms. Which is location three. Yeah, three and two. And I'm going to substitute that. Uh, <laughs> There's a trend here, right. isn't it? Cheeky dice. So, so that's uh, substitute dice from your hit in the arms. Blue Henro. Blue Henro's initial roll at the beginning of the round, wasn't it? This yeah. guy is so good at supporting other people yeah. because yes. of his abilities. He's ace. Um, I've got. I've nothing on the samurai to activate. I've only got one on the gaki, so he could try and break away, but he wouldn't be able to move. Uh, you go first next round anyway, didn't you? So, yes. so I'm going to leave that there, and we're going to move into turn three. Yes. And there are no effects. Yes. So I'm going to pay. What, what are you bidding, Ian? I'm going to pay a strategy. <laughs> try to bid a strategy <laughs> one strategy because you know Mike go. doesn't have any left. Yes. So I'll get some things Because he's anyway. frivolously mm. burnt them all on his dead army. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's worth it. Uh, was it? Was it uh, made, it would, well, it would have done if I actually caused at least one of those guys to die. Because yeah. usually it does work. So it's I'm going to roll risk. my Henro dice. So that's three twos. That's three a, lots of two. That's, that's probably a, less useful, isn't it? Than except before. Unless you want to chop someone's arm. I can definitely hit people three times <laughs> in the arms if I want to try. Mm. Um, I think I'm going to activate the Gaki first. What? The because Gaki? he's going to do his incredibly annoying thing. Here we go. The first thing he does is pay two action points and all fighters within 10 centimetres of the Gaki are forbidden to form any action more than once around. Oh, before we do anything else, was there any victory points at the end of our round? Oh, yes. Um, so you've got more than me. No, because I've got 100 points in the middle because yep. no one's dead yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, so no victory points. Yeah. No victory points for that. So everybody, apart from broodmaster. this, the broodmaster can only do everything once a turn. Right. Um, <coughs> that includes your models as well. Yep. <coughs> Which is a bit of a gamble. It may pay off. Uh, so and the gaki will keep one of his <coughs> what's the size of your degenerates is it one anyway it is only one there's no point draining their brains further no no because they've, been because drained because they've, they've, they've eaten most of their own brains they are really right. they, they indeed they have with a spoon, <laughs> a spoon. <Yeah. laughs> right so your activation um so i'm going to Only one attack, so I only get one. Only also one attack, aren't they? Everyone's going to only get one attack. Oh, did anybody want to play any cards? Um, sadly, well, you can play as you want to. I'm out. I haven't got enough points. Do you want to play? No, no, no nothing. Um, so I, so my breedmaster is. Let me get. 
shops up, I think, and stays there. Well, if he stays around, that, that lovely lady's going to walk through there and then um, clobber me. So... So you've put a rage token on each of you to generous, didn't you? Yeah, I think I have to do that. Oh, but I'm going to have to move him out of the way. So, I shall... Yeah, so yeah, but both my jokes will get that, and then I shall I'll just move him out of the way. Make it seem to get clobbered if he stays there. Operation Run Away is Run away, <laughs> hide behind. He's Full gonna, effect. Yeah, he's going to take this young lady who's next to his side and show her the exhibit in the mm -hmm. thing, and that'll cost him one, and then he'll sit on two because he can't charge him. So, you'll go. Damn. Um, I think I'll activate the Ubume. Mm -hmm. And I'll charge him. Okay. Um, so that cost her two. I'm going to use her noetic laceration ability which attacks you in your brain instead of um, can't be good for him your vigor no essentially it becomes easier to hit so has he got a response um can you try and hit back then if he if he, she uses a psi attack yeah because all it does is switch his vigor value for his psi value Right, okay. Normal attack. Normal way. attack. Yeah. So I shall try and hit you back. Bearing materials. in mind that the Abume, because she's an assassin, rolls yes. two dice in opposition instead of one and keeps both. So she'd be rolling 2d6 plus 4 and you'd be rolling 1d6 plus your 5 Yeah, step. so maybe that's not worth it, is it? It's meh. What about dodge then? So that's still um, speed then. So I can use that to get rid of things, so can I? Yeah, her speed is 6. I can't so you'd be that. needing sixes. Well, you can. You we can, can still do. dodge them. Um, she's pretty evil, the Abumi, but she's, she's very evil. squishy. Um, um, I think I'll just have to take you on there. There's, there's nothing else I can do, really. Well, if you survive it, you might hit back. If you respond, but you'll be hitting on ones, is that right? No, I'll be hitting him on ones. Yes, that's so, right. but I'm only running four dice. Yeah, but four so dice. I might not kill him. Needing ones depends it's where going, you hit. It's going to be four hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it might not kill him. And it Go might. on then. I'll try and hit you back. So I shall. It's probably what I do. Yeah, I think so. So he's he's got oh, he's only on two. So see if you hit first. Yeah. So I'm rolling two d six and adding four, so that's ten. Oops. Four. That's a four. Yep. And your it's gotta be less than combat ten, though, isn't it? it is still less than it's ten. It's just okay. yes, seven. So I'm rolling four dice needing ones. Okay. So that's four dice in location. Oh, they're ones! Five. They're ones. Five. Location five is Actually, not where you want it to be. One is an automatic fail. Oh. So I'll replace that. Can you replace the one with a two? Space. Yeah. If you put it in area two, you would kill him. But I. But you have to hit. How many have you got in left in area two? Um, two. So instead. Do you of, have to hit this, his instead head? Instead of replacing yes that. So what's? I've got two. I've got two left two in, in his arms. Right. Or the moment you can so put four, but not kill me. I in could my replace body. instead of replacing the unsuccessful roll. Yeah. Uh, with that, replace I can the replace target. the target with a two and cause three damage in the two. In which case you would kill him. Kill him. Yes. You'll do that? Brutally and horribly. Yes, yes. please, Mike. I'm you psychically ripped his arm off. I did psychically rip his arm yeah. off, yes. I don't quite know how that happens, but I'm sure there's a way. It's yeah. a spell, basically. It's a noetic laceration. I can think the, yes. uh, the, the defending... Telekinetic the, yes. the laceration. <laughs> <laughs> the defending the uh, um, lab here. Maybe you just made him rip his own arm off. <laughs> Maybe I did. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah. Convinced him he didn't need that arm just after whispered all. into his ear. <laughs> Well, he, has, he had no brain anyway, so he probably whispered through his ear. Yeah. Around the other side, <laughs> the other side yeah. and then that was it. It looks, um, 
It looks quite robotic in the centre there, doesn't it? It's not a lot. It uh, is a bit robotic. Not a lot of fleshy no. stuff left. Although maybe. she is half woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah to be fair. Yeah. Right. Um, new me? activation. Oh, she has to get it going now, way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had to go. You had your first go. You just walked away. I know. Cowardly. Cowardly. Well, never it's... win a game like that. Right. So it might have been beyond the chance is. of winning anyway. But so my degenerate here. Um, it looks like he's uh, in the Hamlet uh, with his skull. Um, he's, uh, <laughs> he's only got two action points, but instead of paying one for another one, he will pay one of his rage tokens for a combat. This takes him up to five instead. So, going to fight me back, or do you want to dodge, or do you want to run away? Run away, be good. I'm going to... Run away to fight again, don't they? I'm not going to fight you back. I'm going to fight you back. For sure. <laughs> So, we'll see who hits first. So I'm on 9. Um, I'm on More 11. Than. Yes, there we go. He's fast as well, isn't he? Somewhere. He's a very good model, but he's more expensive than any of yours, I think. He is. What do I need? Doesn't What's your very figure? Well. Um, it's 5. Oh, fuck. Uh, goodness, I mean. Oh, no! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that's one in the three. And you can't do anything about that because all those twos aren't going to help. Even really if you change help. the location, it still wouldn't do any better because no. it's still fours in his other location. So, oh, I've got okay. five now so that was actually the first bad roll he's had, wasn't it? So this bad roll, uh, yeah, the Henro had some bad rolls at the end of the last turn, but he's, he's. But I think because you've got a pretty average Henro roll with that they were all the same, you weren't able to. Normally in the past, you've managed to. Tinker quite a lot with those attacks, haven't you? To then change location yeah. or to make an extra hit just enough to kill someone. Exactly. Something. It's always better to get a few different numbers yeah. so they can use yeah. them for different things. The three twos. It is really good. It skill. isn't great. It's a brilliant it's, one. It's a good skill. So here comes the degenerate. This is his moment. Where he finally takes down the robot Soil. samurai. Fours. Yeah, you need fours. Oh, oh it's a big oh, hit! Oh, it's a big hit! So there's three there, and he's five, but he gets two protection. Oh, he's got two protection. So, so he's one into his five. He's, oh, he's got one left. No, he hit the wrong place. It should have been his leg. It's Aimed in the wrong place. Uh, and it, and it can hang on. Attack. Hang on. Go on. No, oh, no, that wouldn't work because the how many successes? Three. So you could have sacrificed one to make that a six, which would have hit him in the legs, but oh, then you wouldn't have got through the armour. No, so there's no point. You needed one more success. Sacrifice one of those misses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Nah, maybe. Uh, and that's it, because they can't do anything else, because they can't do another attack, can they? No. They're all doing one attack that round. And because I attacked you back, I can't do anything with the samurai except... Which is always good. Yeah. Mm. That's uh, interesting, actually. So, could your black... Umumbe, uh, um, could, could she have charged? Because that's two moves, isn't it? It's a move and an attack. Uh, okay. So yes. she couldn't then, once she killed yeah. him, move again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Henro hasn't activated. And I think what he's going to do... Make a cup of tea? Is, <laughs> he he could do that. Cup of tea. I think he should make a cup of tea. He's going to move. Is he? He's going to move to here. And I think mm. that's everybody. It is because he's moved. So, turn four. Well, just before you do turn four, so um, in the tendency phase, I get to heal uh, one um, CP back. So one um, as a one of my one of my limbs. So. He's got, a, he's got a regeneration skill, so he's got what he's been hit once in the arms, and they get to heal it back. So he's healing back. He back. It may not be enough, I feel. He may no. And obviously, at the end of round three, there are no points scored because there's still more robots in the centre than there are horde. Yeah. Going into round four. Round four, and are um, you going to bid? I'm going to bid. Da -da. Just the one. <laughs> strategy point for first player. Any cards to I'm be I'm going to play a card. I'll pay my two to play, to play a card. This could. This is probably the end round. Yeah, I maybe. Suspect. Yeah. Here we go. Play makeshift repair. Mm. I'm going to lose an action point from the samurai, and I'm going to heal everything in his torso. Whoa! Oh, that's a magical harsh, card. Harsh. <coughs> so everything. He's oh, coming back. Two, Although three damage he's have. very vulnerable in his legs, you could cut his yeah. legs. I out need from to eat him. his legs, yeah. and I'm fine. <laughs> you could take his legs off with a fish knife. Yeah. Nibble his ankles. 
Um, or actually just a small screwdriver, for said, of course. But. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to activate the Henro. I'm going to pay two strategy points for his Kai defence. Okay. Are you doing your cheeky dice thing again? Or? Ooh, cheeky dice. Oh, cheeky dice. Oh, see? Don't remind him. Oh, a one, two, oh, five. Nice that's, spread, that's a nice spread. That's a nice spread. spread. Lovely, lovely, um, spread. lovely spread. I'm activating the Henro. Okay. I'm going to activate Kai defence, which means I pay two strategy points. Because you've got loads of them. Still got five left. I have yeah. still got five left. An allied drone fighter within 15 centimetres. The next time this fighter is the target of a melee attack and its reaction is passive, its vigour becomes equal to its psi. Okay. So his vigour, the sam I'm doing that on the samurai, his vigour is four but his psi is six. The so next time you try and attack him you need six, it's not four. On the samurai. samurai. As if I'm going to go anywhere hindrances. near it. <laughs> so, um, so, it doesn't cost me any action points to do that. So I'm going to charge this guy. Okay. Response. Um, I shall... So do you get an extra action point now because you haven't activated? So you haven't lost one yet, have you? No, I haven't. Yeah, you know, I haven't activated my Brewmaster. So he, I think. No, but moment, your degenerate normally loses one at the start when he activates. Is he always at the start of the round? No, beginning of the round. So, right, also, so he's always on two. So you'll always be on two. Then. Right. And obviously you haven't been able to give him any of the rage. I can't. Yes, I can't give him any rage. He's only on two. So I shall. What are you hitting me with? Five or six? Five dice. I shall try and hit you back. Alrighty. So, roll to see who goes first. Um, so I'm on nine and you're on... Eight. Eight. No, I'm on nine. Nine. It's another roll off. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. oh, it's going to be it. Come on. Oh, oh right finally. again. No, right. Really. This excitement. I've gone flying out of the tray. No. Oh, it's enough. It's another tie. Oh, another time. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, this is going to come yes. back later. Oh, this has got to be the moment. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to find, he just wants to. Oh, that's how I'll do it. You need a six now. No, oh, right. There wasted we are. your. How many opportunities do you need? Too many. So, one, two. What's your, what's your fig? It's five. Oh. Right, needing five. Yes. Two, that's two. Uh, in location four. Jesus. Uh -oh. Which is his body. Oh, no, his body. Body. Yeah, body. body. I'm not hitting anywhere at the minute. Mm. I go for the body. Unless you want to switch, switch one up. What do, I, what do I need? Fives? Yeah. I'll substitute one of the fails for that five from yeah. the Henry. So the body. three in the body. Okay. Um, so um, I'll hit you back. Uh oh. He's not as heavily armed as the samurai, the Henro. So mm -hmm. yeah, nice. he cancels out one hit. No, tell me. Um, fours or fives? Undamaged though, isn't it? Fives. Um, mm -hmm. No, no, sorry. Because the Cause protection will. Okay. So you've only got one actual point left now on that model, haven't you? Yes. You're spending it. Uh, are you out there, are you? Oh, I've got one left, haven't I? Yes. I'll attack you again. I shall take you back. Right, let's have another 20 minute roll off, see so who goes first. Yeah, nope, you'll go first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have admittedly had some atrocious rolls this time. I've had some awful awesome rolls. Needing five. Not the best. Nothing left to substitute in, so it's one in the two. That's in the arm. One in his arm, he's just, like, just tinkering around with him. Just battering him about a bit. Can Mike roll anything sensible? That is the question. It's the burning question on everyone's lips. It is, it is. Not with that or not. Needs five, no. so we got, got one. But one armor. 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 No! Dear. Struggling to get through that armor in every case. Yes. Right. Um, so is it me? Yeah. Well. We have a lot left, Mike. I Just, do have uh, my Breedmaster. He's, he's actually not bad in the, he's not bad in the fighting. In the fighting department? Fighting department, no. He's got his rage tokens as well, hasn't he? What's he do with those? He has got two rage tokens, which sadly does nothing for him. He has to give it to other people. But what I can do. Uh, 
can do is I can give two raise tokens to the guy who's now out and he can but I'll do that first and then what we'll do is how will those rage tokens help the guy who's well he is out so I don't know if this works so yeah, in general it gets one AP he's used him hasn't he so he can't use him again can he he can't automatically he's, go again because he's, he's out of his turn he's not activated He's just it, responded to what I've done. So actually, so if he's I got could rage use them, tokens, he can, he can now activate and use them. Yes. So, so we'll do that. We'll okay. give him. We'll give him. To, we'll give him them, and then he will pull or nothing. I think. Charge him. Alrighty. Here he comes. Row. So that will cost him two. Um, and he's is he out now? The Henry is. Yes, so he'll hit him. Oh, smash him! Smash is your moment! Smash him! He's vulnerable. Um, so he gets five dice. Yep. No fives in five, isn't it? Needing fives. Oh, oh, it's not bad! It's three hits in the five. But you'll go Drop down one from armor. armor. Yeah, it's the only one yeah, of the only places four. So no, he's got two left. Two left, so. Um, I'll hit him again, then. Owie, ow! Come ow. on, do it. Come on, Mike. Stop it's it, quite hard to hit there, leaving five, isn't it? Not bad. Oh, it's, oh, it's not two enough. Two. This is a lot. This drops him down to one. One in the two. Yeah, armor's keeping him alive. Curse that armor. Many people do frequently. Yes. Um, so he's out. It's your go. Right, let's see if we can get this right now. Hmm. So, I'm going to move the Gaki. And he's going to go five and then five. So he's going to end up here. Okay. Now he's more than 10 centimetres from the Abume, which is what I like. Um, and he is going to activate his deployment ability. Right. Which costs him his last two action points, which mm -hmm. means none of these guys can do anything more than once. Okay. He's going to pay two strategy points. Here we go. To reduce the sigh of your Broodmaster. Okay. Which I think will take him down to one. Um, no, it's size three. three. Right, it drops it by two. Okay, it will take him down to one. So that takes him down to one. Okay. My activation over. Okay. So I'll now use my degenerate. Yeah. Because he's got uh, two rage tokens. So uh, one of them will give him uh, an action point, and one of them will give him a combat bonus as well. This may be where the samurai dies. So I'm. Well, well, you've, you've, well I'm now I'm going to go for the, uh, the, uh, the, the guy Henry. with the, the wheel on his head. He's yes. close to death if you can hit him in the yeah. legs. Two armour. Though. But he's got two armour. Up yes. to you. Go get him two armour on him or one armour on him? One armour on the Henro, two on the Samurai. Um, I'll go for the um, Henro if he's only got one armour. Um, so he's easy to hit as well. He's easy to hit. Oh, yeah. no, hit. No, Henro's harder to hit sorry, than the Samurai. Yeah. It's hard yes. to hit, but isn't hitting back at the moment. So, um, with the samurai, so it's, the samurai would hit back. Um, the samurai would yes, hit back. Yes, so I'll go so. for it. Yeah, so only five, don't I? Yeah. No! no! It's only one. Only so one. Bang, bang, bang. No good. Did you roll five dice there? You got an extra yeah. dice. You got an extra dice. Oh, no, four dice. Nice. Didn't you boost, yes, you boost it with a rage token? What did that do? Um, oh, yes, yeah, did. yes, 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 sorry. Dice. Here we go. Oh, it's a So he's taken one in the head. Yes. Which he's got. Which he's got. Well, he's got, so. he's got a wheel on his it, head. It was, a, it was a hit. It was it a was hit. hit. Yeah. That's good. You yeah. damaged him. Ooh. It's damage. I punctured that wheel. <laughs> Doink. Um, um, no, it's okay. I'm going to activate the oop oop. Of course you are. She's going to do a bit of floating. He's going to charge 
the old brood bus. I knew he was. Right, right, right then. Is he out of AP? He is out of AP. Feel free to lay the smack down. Because she's using her noetic laceration, which she will pay two <laughs> never, for. Never sounds good. <laughs> She's rolling four dice. And now it's on a one because you've already... But it's on ones, so it's four on location. And out of that, she managed to roll... Ones and misses, aren't they? Ones and misses. misses, so... Could you swap them with your How many have you dice? got in the four? Um, I've got no damage at all in the four, so I've got three, and it goes down to two. Two out of five to kill them. Yeah, five, to, five to kill them. Five to kill them, wherever you go, in fact. Replace yep. that... With the three, because they're auto failures, you can still replace them, can you? Yeah, yeah. You, can so you can replace one dice of a roll. So three and the four, is it? Three and the four. Which will take him from four to three. Much easier to hit now. Mm -hmm. Not much easier than ones to hit, like you just did. Of She's got no AP left because she wasn't within ten, unfortunately. So did um, that take up her, all her actions to do that? Though? Yeah, because she was more than 10 away, she had to move around and, ah, then, and charge. then charge. Yeah. Uh, Couldn't she have just gone through the scenery? Technically, she's got to end her move, yeah, right. not in contact with another fighter. Yeah. And I think he was in the, he was in the he way. He was in the way, yeah. Yeah. so she's had to come to here with mm -hmm. one and then charge yeah. through there. Um, so just samurai left. He was affected by the Gaki, so he can only do one attack. Thankfully. Which he's going to do. So. It could be enough if you get the right degenerates location. out. He is out. So it's six dice. Against five. Needing fives. Yeah. Feel free to miss any of them. I'll try the best. <laughs> you get it in his body, you do him. Mm -hmm. Only two. Two. Get the dice to change? Yeah, I do. And he's out. Uh, I'll change the two for a four. Yeah, that is his body, and that will be enough. That's two in the body. It's enough to kill the degenerate. Take him off. Another Splat. model is gone. That samurai is done for most of my guys. He's so. killed everyone. He's he been good. Yes. absolutely fabulous. He has that been samurai very good. this evening. And it's even good. when he has taken a lot of damage, he just healed it off with one card. The last time I put him on the table, he died at the start of turn two. Mm, that's probably the best thing for him. <laughs> <You're playing against laughs> him. Yes. Right. Like, yeah. Final turn of the game. Oh, is it? It was on turn five. Turn, we're yeah. turn five now. Wow. No victory points again scored because obviously outnumbered. Yep. So I've only got one strategy point left. Guess Are what? You're going to bid it. I'm going to bid it. It <laughs> means I can't play any cards or use any special abilities. I'm not sure you need to, really. No. If we're honest. <laughs> but, you know, right. I am going to use it. I'm going to go, go first. Okay. And um, I'm going to charge your broodmaster. With my samurai. Because... See, Broodmaster's still got his rage tokens, doesn't he? But he doesn't get to do anything with them yet, does he? Until he actually... Yes, Ooh. but he can't really do anything. He can't give them to, there's nothing he can do for himself. Samurai dice. I wouldn't know. He has yes, to. yeah, they're there for buffering the um, the other mutants. I don't think he can do anything for them. So Henro's got his. Henro's done his, and his roll. Two, he's got six, 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 a three, and a two. Uh, um, and the samurai is going to charge, which costs this is it. two. This is the moment. Respond. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna dodge it. Alrighty. So you're dodging on five, isn't it? My speed is four. So what's your speed? Um. Oh, is it? Oh, it's yeah. my speed's five. Right. So I roll all my hits. And then, Mike rolls a dodge, and to roll a dodge, he rolls his speed characteristic sure? yeah. in dice. Mm. If your speed is four. You need I, fours. So I can't, can I um, go ahead of you? You can interrupt me. I'll interrupt you instead, actually. Okay, so there's not a lot you can do because he's in contact with two of the fighters. That's fine. But so he's won't. pinned. So yes. he could interrupt, but he couldn't do anything except attack them if you wanted to. He'll do that. Okay, so... Because I have to kill at least one of those guys before I go off. Before I go off <laughs> Rewind. 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 You're actually only in combat with one person, aren't you? No, I'm no. in combat with him and then oh, these chiefs come in and... As well. Yes. Oh no, the Henro's not in contact with you. It's just the Abume you're in contact with. Oh, so he was fighting. Yeah, so I turn him around. So I just turn around and. Uh, so you're going to try and. So yes, yeah, so to explain that. Abume. So your my my speed is five. Yes. Speed is four. If you've got a higher speed statistic, you can interrupt the activation of the fighter. So I was going to activate him, 
Brewmaster's got speed higher than him, so Mike said, no. No, we won't, no do samurai. we won't do that today. We're going to activate Broodmaster and try and kill the Ubume instead. She hasn't took any in injuries, has she? Yeah, no. it might be a tall order. But it might be a tall order, but she's not as strong as them. She's so. quite squishy. So we'll have a go at that. Okay, she's going to dodge. Okay. Because she's very, very good at dodging. So I've got five um, against your bigger. Four. Four. Just two, two, two in the five. five. She's got any armour? She's got one armour, so that's one in the five. I'm dodging. So you'll play dodge. I'm rolling. Yes. My speed is six. So, you're so six what dies. I should have done is interrupt your interruption. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your speed is? Uh, five. Yes, okay. yeah. no problem. So okay, dodge those. Of those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I shall pay another one, and I'll do it again. Because Can you do that even though it's an interrupt? Yes, it's just my Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's, it's his full activation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I'll dodge again. <sighs> Two. So I just need to dodge mm -hmm. one. Um, Which you'll probably do. That's going to really bad score. Yeah, yeah so there we go. Dodging so, like. And demon. I shall sit on one because your samurai is now going to come in and. God, I wish that was my right. samurai, though. You'd have been murdered. Oh, I know, yes. So now um, the samurai comes Now I'm going to activate the samurai. He's going to charge in. Well, you have to complete it because you already activated it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Although actually cancel my activation completely, I wouldn't have to go back. Ah, you could go back to someone else. Oh, okay. Um, and have you any points? I got left? one left. I no. got one actual point left. Your response, sir. Um, I shall try hitting back. That's the best plan. So we roll off to who goes first. Uh, I believe I'm, I'm on nine. I'm on eight. So you go first. Oh my goodness! This could be first, it for the samurai. The first roll the samurai has ever failed. That's true, actually. Um, <laughs> um, got to hit him in the legs. Fours? Fours? Yeah, you need fours and you want a six on your location or a two or a three. Two on the a location. Two. Oh, no, oh, this oh, is. Oh, save oh, him! Curses! Curses armour! I need to go and find some mutant samurais. <laughs> That's what I need. What you need is a flamethrower. I need a flamethrower. Because um, it ignores all that. Blast weapons ignore all protection and damage each limb. So you just keep hitting it me with that. Uh, right. I'm out, so feel free to um, so now hit me. Six dice in the location. Oh, the samurai just fighting back again with his There's last There's a small child up. there, Ian. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you a, I'm a robot, I don't it care. Attach yourself I know. To a What's the big? Creep. Um, it's three now because you knocked him down before. So that's three successes. Where have you lost? They killed me in the four. Three in the four? Yes. Boom. And he's done. The last one's gone. There we go. So. <laughs> so it went all the way to turn five. It is. But the ISC with managed. The, with all that armour. Because of their armour. Yes. To defend their base from the horrible cannibalistic horde. And what was your Thank secret you mission? Like, now, Just my mission. Interest. Was the ambush. Ah, right. At the end of the game, counting your VP as follows. Each opposing fighter incapacitated by one of your fighters during the match grants you with value plus five in victory points. Right. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. So that was so 125. 125 VP. Very good. Well done. Good game. So, so, so yeah, yes. how did that go? That was a pretty brutal it was smashing a of the, uh, hold. the meat sacks. Yes. That, that was actually an unusually brutal game. It was a brutal game. I think the ISC did well supporting each other. They did. And managed to fight off the horde. They had a lot of buffs didn't they? They, they used their buffs yeah. and they had some pretty good dice rolls. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah really I had some awful dice rolls yeah, but yes, but my, um, my, my, uh, my risky attack on the second turn didn't actually work out very well. Didn't do anything, did it? No, not at all. I think you were one success on a dice roll away from murdering the samurai, and if yes. you'd have done that, I think that would have been a much harder game for the ISC to win. Yes. So I think you're quite unlucky with that round. Not having to, not being able to kill him. But it went to five turns. It was. It could have, yes. It did go to five turns. Yes. It wasn't a whitewash. No. But in the end, it was 125 VPs to the ISC. Yeah. And all I could do was just lie there and eat my own brains. Indeed. <laughs> but now we've got to sweep them all up off the floor. Yeah. To we've got to keep your laptop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you do. So that's what I mean. Yeah. But. Yeah. I'm, I'm more on clean victory. <laughs> <laughs>
So there you go. That's yes. Eden. Yes. yes. So hopefully you enjoyed that uh, run through and chat through of Eden. Uh, it ended up being yeah quite a landslide victory, but I think it was uh, you know it's good to see that they play quite differently, different factions, quite a lot of different factions as well. Yeah, with um, at least ten. Yeah. And so uh, it's quite a quick game. Um, this video, when it's edited, will probably be less than an hour. So you can see you probably get a couple of games done in an evening in a club night or something like that. Yes, so, definitely. Yeah, so it's good. Great so, game. yeah, and uh, watch out, and uh, we may do some more in the future as well. So, good. So, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Listen out for the Weight of Fire podcast, and find us on the Weight of Fire Facebook page. So, thanks very much, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.